All right, Romeo, what happens if you are right? Well, just in the same way that we now regard as barbaric to saw off a limb, um, just because you have some problems with that limb. Uh, in the future, I think that we will regard jacking up your neurotransmitters by 20x, and then waiting a couple weeks and seeing if you're better or worse will be regarded as barbaric. And so if we're right, then we have an entirely new and different paradigm for intervening on mental health. Uh, we like to refer to it as uh, pattern suticles, um, where we could have a much uh, uh, more precise uh, intervention on exactly the, the symptoms that you're having. Um, and it, it wouldn't be, you know, go away for two weeks and uh, see what happens. It'd be real-time feedback of what is this doing to your mental state. So there's some sort of an issue with the mental state, and then there can be an applied pattern pseudical and then an immediate feedback loop yes. to make sure that it's correct. And then what would be like a most common um, a pattern pseudical that would be applied to a most common mental health issue? The most common is a deeper understanding of depression and anxiety, which if you look at uh, methods to investigate how, how big of a quality of life impact are these conditions having. Uh, people rank uh, something like severe depression up there with losing a limb. So it's, it's a pretty big impact on people's lives. And what would be a pattern pseudical application to it? Oh, that's, that's a complicated question. <laughs> because that's what you're working on right now, <laughs> yeah. is figuring exactly that out. So it would yeah. maybe be a symmetrical state, like a pattern pseudical of a symmetrical state for someone? Most likely seeing the ways in which they are currently experiencing their own environment as dissonant. Mm 